From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. In Italy, a delivery driver has been banned from driving after he was caught shaving at 70 miles per hour. Man, at that speed, you could just stick your head out the window, let the wind shear off your whiskers. A family in Florida was left stunned and outraged last week after a couple of animal welfare activists confronted them while they were fishing at a park in St. Petersburg. Bob Hope – no, not that one, the other Bob Hope – says that he and his family were fishing for dinner and had caught a tilapia when a young boy approached them and said, "'You know fish feel pain and you're hurting that fish!' Well, moments later, a group of protesters appeared from around the corner, grabbed the fish, and threw it back into the lake. And, you know, I'm surprised that a group of vegans even had the energy to get out there and protest. Just maybe Jurassic Park had us all fooled. Apparently, outrunning a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a Jeep would have been easy as pie because, well, T Rex couldn't run. While previous estimates suggested T-Rex could move up to 45 miles per hour, scientists at the University of Manchester used advanced computer simulations to come up with the most accurate assessment yet. Taking into account the beast's muscles and skeleton, they discovered running would have been impossible without a T-Rex legs buckling under its seven-ton weight. Study author William Sellers says T-Rex instead walked at a pace of up to 12 miles per hour a fast jog for humans and less than half of Usain Bolt's top speed of 27.8 miles per hour. As a researcher not involved in the study tells National Geographic, there's no way T-Rex could have chased down that Jeep in Jurassic Park if it was going at highway speeds. Maybe if it was in first gear, but even that is a big if. I mean, think about this. Jurassic Park got it wrong? But the old Land of the Lost TV show got it right! The Knot released its annual report on wedding trends, and the average cost for 2016 comes to $35,329. Fathers of brides are now bribing the girls' boyfriends to just elope. Elon Musk says he's gotten verbal approval for an ultra-high-speed underground Hyperloop rail system that will get passengers from New York to D.C. in 29 minutes. The trains will be powered by the passengers' screams. O.J. Simpson is inmate number 1027820, and he will be out in October, resuming his search for the real killer on golf courses all across America. Flex Seal is a new form of duct tape that claims to be able to seal anything, even underwater. It's been found to seal just about everything except for the mouths of progressives. Japan's first lady may have pretended not to know English to avoid chatting with President Trump at a recent G20 dinner. The theory emerged on social media after video surfaced of a 2014 speech by Akiaba in which she spoke English. Oops, son. Uh, no habla inglés, señor presidente. Bands of feral Reese's macaque monkeys have been making themselves known in central Florida. The current theory is that the monkeys are immigrants from Illinois trying to get away from rising taxes. In England, a taxi driver told an officer he was speeding because his passengers were breaking wind and smelling up his car. You know, it's at this point the officer should have realized it was a true emergency and gave the taxi driver a police escort to the location. Francis Gabe, the inventor of the self-cleaning helm, has died at the age of 101. Her funeral services will be handled by a machine. 50% of U.S. broadband households are willing to share data and device control of their thermostats, hot water heaters, smart clothes, dryers for discounts on electricity. I, I don't, share data? Okay, yeah, but share control? Heck no! I'm not giving some complete stranger the ability to shut off my air conditioning by remote control simply because they're having a bad day at the office. Olympics organizers are hoping to construct medals for Tokyo 2020 from recycled smartphones. The committee hopes to amass eight tons of metal, enough to produce 5,000 medals, by installing collection boxes in more than 2,400 Japanese mobile carrier stores across the country. You know, they, they should bring some of those collection boxes to America. I probably have half a ton of old cell phones in my office junk drawer. 
Please support my channel by sharing the Daily Dose of Weird News on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!